I am here for a video submission to Shane. Sorry if I get it wrong. Bluters. What am I, what am I changing? Bluters. <laughs> 100 subscriber giveaway. Um, I just hit 100 subscribers myself, so congratulations to you. And I'm sure you're going to look through the moon real quick. He wanted a couple of questions. He's a big Star Wars fan, as am I. Um, but it's funny when people ask me what my favorite fandom is. It's not Star Wars, believe it or not. Um, so he asked for my favorite Star Wars character. And I'm going to go with Han Solo. Everybody says Boba Fett. I love Boba Fett. But I don't know if I really know Boba Fett. He wasn't in the movie much. He walked through an empire. He was added later to Star Wars. And he got ate and shot up in the air in Jedi. Um, maybe when his new movie comes out, I could justify adding him to my list. But he's got to earn his stripes first. Han Solo did. Um, most of my favorite box, Bam Box, of course. It's um the most consistently inconsistent box, and I like the fact because it's uh polarizing, gets people to talk and love it or hate it, and you can watch a video, and it's a little different than the next guy's video, even though it's the same contents, because you know they'll randomly put things in the box that will surprise you, and autographs, and there were a couple things each month that weren't in any of the books but ended up in the box. Cool. I like it and uh, they've recently changed it um, to be a little more like a baseball card pack of baseball cards back in the day or sports cards where you'd randomly just open it and find something. There was no odds. There was no expectation. You don't know what's inside. It could be a smelly sock but it's there for you and it's autographed. Just kidding. Uh, um... What do I suggest? I've only been collecting boxes, band box for six months, everything else for about three months, so I'm not an expert. But everybody's telling me to go to Fright Crate, and I've seen a few submissions to you to go to Fright Crate, so I guess I'm going to be going to Fright Crate. I did see some of the unboxing stuff, and it's pretty cool. I like it. And what do I collect? Um, watching my videos, I don't think I've expressed the things that I really do like. Late 70s, early 80s toys. Mego, or the world's greatest superheroes they re-released them under. I don't really care. I don't buy them because they're worth so much money. And I'm glad they re-released them because now I can get the toys I want for $20, not $200 and $400. Um, even um, reaction figures because they're so crappy. And people don't like crappy, but I like crappy. They're simple. And five points of articulation, arms, legs head, maybe a little accessory, but they're affordable, and that's what drove me out of it in the first place. Everything got so crazy with holofoils and holograms and chase this and chase that, and it lost a lot of its appeal to me, um, as well as life got in the way, but now I'm seeing there's a lot of folks out there who like those similar things. Anyways, congratulations, Shane, on your 100, and you do another video or another giveaway and I'll subscribe to that one too and send you another video. Congratulations. Thanks for watching. Later peeps.